Hello, it's me, Matt Parker, and welcome to Mark's channel. You might be watching this because you just watched the bullet ant sting video I made with Mark, or maybe you're just a Mark fan and you wonder who I am. We made a separate video where we got stung by various insects, and this is the story of how we collected them. Thank you, Matt. We'd really wanted to revisit insect stings more scientifically for a while on this channel, because although our research is mostly on bigger animals, it's those videos where I get bitten or stung or electrocuted that people really want to see. But I could never get enough volunteers to do it. For some reason, biologists just don't seem to like the idea. So I think it would have been just me and Hugo. But the Stand Up Maths channel seemed to love the idea of being stung by the most painful insects in the world. So with Matt providing an eager queue of people ready to be stung, we were suddenly under pressure to produce an array of different stinging insects including some of the most infamous. Up first, the potter wasp. The issue with this wasp is that much like its name implies, it builds its nest out of clay. We can't just grab it completely and neatly off a tree. We have to wrap it in a bag, shake it to get some, but probably not all of the wasps. And then before the rest of the wasp realize what's going on, we got to get out of there because those things are going to hold a grudge. Close to the lodge, there were some wasp nests that were gonna be removed anyway for safety reasons. The first ones were the least painful on the scale, but nobody wants a cloud of wasps around them, even little ones. So this reaction is not irrational. <laughs> Next, Hugo bravely collected some Tangaran ants. These really hurt. They share their name from a jumpy Amazonian folk dance, choreographed to celebrate the pain of walking into a Tangarana tree. This third collection was the scariest, and no one else wanted to do it. These Lamperon wasps really needed to be moved away from the tourist path. They're nocturnal, and you really don't want them ending up in your gin and tonic. These are really painful wasps, and they defend the nesting gangs. If I disturb them before I get the bag over them, I could have 20 to 30 big angry wasps making a beeline from my face. Bit of an anticlimax in the end. And last of all, we had to find the stars of the show, one for each person that was going to get stung. But on hot days, bullet ants go deep underground. So we drew a blank on the first day and had to call in Rainforest Expedition's resident entomologist, Araceli, to find some for us. Unfortunately, these ones can't fly or this would be carnage. The carnage happens later over on the Stand Up Math channel. If you want to see us being stung by these bullet ants, as Mark said, the carnage continues over on the Stand Up Mass channel. I'm sure Mark will link to that in the description below. I don't know, this is not my channel. Although, if you are here because you came from my video, don't forget to subscribe. Mark's channel, a field biologist, is absolutely fantastic. You should subscribe while you're here. And if you haven't seen me get stung by a bullet ant, get onto it.